movie. As far as the character, I mean, it's Andrew Garfield was a different Spider-Man. Oh, well, he's a and then to he's Tobey Maguire. Okay, he okay. Here's the trick: is Tobey Maguire brought his own personality to the screen. Tobey Maguire is not an aggressive. He's a very quiet. You know, he mm -hmm. basically have a. A long career of playing the basically guy that has a slow burn and never really blows his top. Mm -hmm. So, but he is not at massively athletic. Where Andrew Garfield looks the part of an athlete, and because he's also a very accomplished actor, he can go backwards. He could he could play mm -hmm. the Tobey Maguire character. Tobey Maguire could not play his character with because it wouldn't. Tobey Maguire would not look right being uh, okay. The, um, the flying sequences at the end, which has basically got massively criticism from people that have seen the previous movies, was herky, jerky, and not fluid. Tobey Maguire's were all very fluid, very mm -hmm. basically like it was a ballet like dancer. A, yeah, like he was in the circus going Choo. Yeah, which like, brings mm -hmm. it, they did the Circus du Soleil, did Circus du Soleil, did the... Um, Cirque du Soleil? Circus du Soleil did do the costume for Spidey. I did like Spidey's costume. Yeah, I real like Spidey, but... Um, um, and there's also a reptilian look to the Spider-Man costume, which you'll see when mm -hmm. you see the movie. Why it's like that? Yeah, you have to see the movie. It really, it really does tell you the whole thing. But uh, here's another problem with the movie is that Emma Stone does not look 17 years old. Well, because they're all supposed to be in high school. <laughs> and and Andrew Garfield does not look 17 years old. He does not use Botox. Yeah, he's <laughs> he, he, 29, he looks 29. Emma Stone basically, um, they chose not to make her optically look younger, which because they, they have the technology to do that. Yeah, they have the technology. Go look at Tron and see what they did do uh, to, you know, Jeff uh, Bridges. Jeff Bridges, they really made him, but they can never quite do it. But she looks totally. I mean, they say that she brings a Grace Kelly elegance and, char and style to the movie. Does that mean because she has blonde hair? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she has blonde hair yeah. in her eyes. But the problem is, she, she over, her father is a police captain. A police captain's salary does not allow you to have a god awful huge apartment in New York City and dress a daughter like his, she was dressed. Mm -hmm. So, and they also made her. Yeah, um, the police officer, what, what, they were up 22 stories. Oh, God, they were really big. They were <laughs> lots of money, folks. And then, um, I, actually, they were like on the penthouse type, I think. Uh -huh. And then um, the fact, what was it? The, um, she's also, unlike the Kirsten Dunst character, she's a super intellect now. Yes. And very athletic herself. She's a nerdy. Yeah, but she's a nerdy athlete. Yeah. But, um, which actually, he's a nerdy athlete, which is why, I mean, they, they both got into the geeky part. Yeah, and basically... Which, that, that part of the storyline worked. Yeah, and the end sets up the next movie, which may or may not ever happen. Because here's the big kicker. The Disney company owns Marvel. Mm -hmm. the Colum uh, so Sony Pictures, Columbia Sony, had one more picture under his contract. So whether or not there's ever another Spider-Man done under the auspices of, of uh, Sony is really up in the air because... Which means it could be another reboot. Yeah, or, they could, or Disney could allow Sony to bear the brunt of the cost of the movie and do what they did with the Avengers. They, Disney really didn't do it. Disney owns the product, but Disney didn't make it. Uh -huh. They, did, they, they owned Captain America, but really didn't make it. You know, one of the things that I thought was majorly different was that, um, well, actually, his father died really early. Um, but also, the, oh no, his his father. Oh, not his father. His uncle. His uncle died <laughs> early, but basically, they they. I've you know, never they, even seen his father in the other No, they basically they said that's the only thing. It's one of the few things they did do true to the original comic book is that his uh, father and mother skipped. But there is a scene, re really, is actually relevant, which basically. Uh, where he, Should you share that, or is that that leads a question? No, it's relevant where they no where they where he has a discussion with his uncle oh, about yeah. his father skipping on him, mm -hmm. which is played by Cam, his father's played by Campbell Scott, who is George C. Scott's son. So, but I, I would assume that if you make another movie, you're going to see Campbell Scott pop up as a as a 60, 70 year old mad scientist. Mm -hmm. But um, acting, they said, was. You know, well, if you want to go see a young teen, you want to go see a, a young teen love story with a nerdy kid being pushed around that basically has a bad temper, and uh, and um, you know, and you want to see 
him growing mature in front of you, and then you want to see some action thrown in, it, it will basically, this movie's going to last in the box office until the next movie comes in, and then it's gone. Until the major, next major blockbuster. Yeah, the next major blockbuster, which could actually be the killer, would be Ice Age. Is Who, it is, Ice Age? Ice Age is out drawing it out of the, out of the foreign markets. Oh, really? I think they said... Uh, but it's totally... No, but it's the, it's the same... Okay. Uh, they said... I mean, I would think Ice Age would have a much younger uh, audience. Oh, Spider-Man... Uh, uh, skews towards the 10 plus year old. Oh. Yeah, they said it does, okay, it does bad with the people. They said it really does bad that I've seen Spider Man 50 times on television. You know, that every time Spider Man comes on, they go see it or they own all the DVD collections. It does bad with those people. But the people that have not seen the Spider Man franchise are only saw movie three, which a lot of the critics didn't like it, but they did a lot of money. Those people will come back. Hmm. And there's a difference: is that age is a generational gap over who wants to watch which movie, and there's your problem, you know. Because I've seen all three movies. I think the first three movies, okay. Uh, Material-wise, even though the critics may not love it, I think the first, any of the first three movies was superior to this god-awful bad love story that they had to put on, because it's an action hmm. movie. I mean, you got to do something other, you know, uh, there is action, but there's not action. I mean, they, they, like I said, I think the action is there simply because, because they, had lo they had lulls in the drama. Well, part of it is they were setting up the story. And there's some movies that are action films where, what was it, like, a, was it Avengers? Or, yeah. or uh, Transformers, where it's almost non-stop action. Yeah, but they set up the, they set up the story with, okay, uh, Thor has been set up before. Mm -hmm. Captain America has been set up before. The Incredible Hulk has been set up yeah. before. They just put them uh, all into a situation with some new characters, which was, uh, you know, Scarlett Johansson and um, Jeremy Rimmer. Those are the new characters, that, you know, but they didn't really fill in. They're, the movies that they're making individually will have it filled in. There was no need to do a total 100% reboot. They just, you know, movie four, you can stick, they, do, they stick actors in, all the time. I mean, you don't do the whole, you know, from day one. Like how he became Spider-Man. Yeah. All over again. Would, would you do the James Bond from the from the first movie all over again? No, you just stick a new character in the in the yeah. plot, and they they all everybody knows everybody knows Spider-Man. Don't spend 19 minutes rebooting the thing from day one. Just put the characters in there. Make make her 26 years old. Make him 29 years old. And then go from there, mm -hmm. you know. So I mean, uh, there's no reason to have, they 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 had him bitten again because it's basically an anti-corporation movie, for Christ's sake. Why? Why you just getting because, into okay, anti-corporation? Because that is the big thing now. If you make a movie that's anti-big corporation, mm -hmm. well, this big corporation got out of control, and it was so out of control. The people that were in, out of control of the big corporation were being put out of business by a next big corporation. Mm -hmm. so, Which is why Spider-Man's web was actually created by other by, by, uh, by the company. Yeah. Right? Where it's actually ten times stronger than anything out yeah. there. I mean so he created his toys, but his toys only came about because of the of the big corporation, the evil corporation that basically in the end is going to change the universe. So mm -hmm. but uh, but you know, like we said before we um, you know, we look at the movie from two different ways. I thought it was structurally sucked. You know, it was the effects were all right, but the effects were basically screwed up by the fact that they did it. It's 3D conversion by four different sets of companies results in four different chiefs. And there's not enough Indians at work. Four different companies doing, we're doing this here. We're going over to India. We're going to do that there. I think we're going to do this over in Sony Studios. I think we're going to do it over in Pakistan. I think we're going to do it over in... And then, and then they bring everything together and make the movie versus somebody really, yeah. really monitoring everything you, going along as far as talent. Have, um, yeah. If you're going to spend $200 million on a movie today, you better sit there you know, and make certain that all of your chickens are on the roof lined up in a row. They did not do it here, and it shows up in the movie. So the question is, is did the... 
filming of it get in the way of the enjoyment of it? Well, from my point of view, when you're so god much out of focus, I mean, oh god, it's really bad. I mean, the camera just all of a sudden stutters in one point as the guy's trying to get it in focus. That's the problem, you know. We, you know, but that, that, that because. All of a sudden, somebody said, oh, God, this isn't working. So, oop, and then they... Yeah, but, and then they left it in editing. They didn't edit it out because they didn't edit. I mean, uh, I'm assuming that it's worse than what we saw. Yeah, because there, there are some points where I think they could have soft-focused it because I really didn't need to see that Spider-Man needed chapstick on. I know. <laughs> okay. I know, or he didn't need to. I mean, of course his face fills the entire IMAX screen, but... Or to put it in one scene... You, you didn't need to, you know, they didn't bother to, to hide the fact that in one scene Emma Stone had obviously been out having a good time with somebody the night before they shot the scene. And it showed on her neck. So, uh, you know, through the entire, okay, you know how they handled it? They, uh, they did that. <laughs> yeah. Instead of doing makeup, because my, I think the makeup people, other than the people that did the lizard thing, were not existent in the movie. <laughs> because you'd have simply made him, you'd have made him look younger, folks. Christ, she's twenty, she's twenty-six years old. He's twenty-nine. When they get a close-up on Emma Stone, she, well, that hasn't been seventeen years old in a long time. Well, and part of it is, is, and they may look young when you're looking at them, like here. But like I said, when you put them head full screen on an IMAX screen, do you really see? It's a lot that shows. I know you see complexion problems and things like that, but I mean. I mean, we, I do know, you know, I've already said, she would pay to see the next movie. Mm -hmm. But I, I, you know, I, I, you know, from a technical standpoint, it basically is as bad technically as every movie except the Transformers and, and Hugo. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean was a, on our last one wasn't bad because the... But it also didn't, the, the filming did not get in the way of the story. I know. It, or the enjoyment. The, that's the whole trick. Everything, they knew they were going to do a 3D movie, and they knew they were going to film, split it into two parts, so it was done that. But it looks like when you see a bad conversion, it's almost like they decided after the fact. And this one too, I think this one is also a 3D, it was also an IMAX conversion, because what did they oh, do at the end of the movie, I which we've never seen an IMAX I know, that was really strange. What was it? It was like a disclaimer. A disclaimer that if you have any problems with the movie, please contact us and such and such and such and such. Which that means that, really uh, well, because, uh, like I said, there's a, there a big discussion about the last 30 minutes about it doing this. And it should have been that from, from day one. Also, I'll tell you, there are, there are pieces in that movie you don't need your glasses on. <gasps> if you lift your glasses yeah. off, you'll see it's in 2D. Yeah, we did notice that. Yeah, so they did not 3D the entire movie. They 3D. I thought, I thought that was a little strange. Yeah, didn't spend the money to 3D the whole thing. They did 3D sections of it, or somebody presented a bill saying we 3D. <laughs> Since the people doing 3D movies upstairs don't have a, okay, okay. Uh, unless you have a 3D screen, you don't see the movie in 3D. You see it in 2D. So what they're looking at is in 2D being converted to 3D, so hey, this really looks good in 2D. Well, and also when they're seeing the previews, uh, I mean, it's a lot of times... It's 2D. Yeah, and they're not usually seeing it on a huge iPad. Uh, you know what you can until do? Until later. You know what you can do if you're using a Sony 3D camera? Oh, yeah. You can see the 3D then and there on their monitors. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a good way to spend $50. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if there's nothing else to do, and if you want to do, and we, we, we're actually, um, we're going to tell you something mm -hmm. else. One of the reasons we wanted to see the, the next Batman movie was because we saw the god-awful great trailer during Mission Impossible for it. Mm -hmm. That trailer sucks this time. I know, what did they do different? I mean, because we've seen the trailer before, it did not look as good. Oh, it really now. did not I don't know what they good. did differently. So, uh, don't go to a movie by based upon the trailers because the trailers often are shot entirely shot as trailers and have nothing to do with the movie. So, I, I, I guess mm -hmm. until next time, this is Old Cam. This is not a spring check. And we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net or to our, our quicker news site, which is www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. 
And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. And yes, you can find us all over the internet.